Today I'm showing you how you can use Onyx Client. This is going to be an in-depth tutorial teaching you about every single function that this client has. And so let's get right in. So to open up the main menu that you want to open up, you're going to press on the insert key. And that's going to open up this area right here. Now, if you don't have an insert key on your keyboard, for example, because you have a 60% keyboard, the keybinds FN and J should actually also work. Well, they, they, they only work if you don't actually have an insert key. Anyways, what you want to do then is go ahead and click on module settings right over here. And this will basically open up all, all the modules, all the settings. These are all the utilities that this client has. And so let's go through over here. So to enable them, you can simply just click on them right over here, which will open an option menu right there. And then you can click on enable right there so as you can see this is snake right cool anyways um, basically when you click on them just like this as you can see you'll also get a full customization menu some of them have more customization options than others as you can see let's take this CPS counter as an example so I can enable it right there and as you can see whilst I'm hovering above here on the left side I can see what the CPS counter is actually going to look like inside of Minecraft so I can change stuff like the background size which um, you know obviously you can do that however you want um, and this will all just allow you to customize it some of these customizations are going to be visual and others are actually going to have an effect on how things work now the CPS counter just like things like the FPS counter and many other utilities that this client has are things that are actually going to show up on your screen as you can see I can now see how much FPS I'm getting well, if you exit this menu over here and go, remember, back here, um, well, we can actually find all these things. So currently, I only have the FPS and CPS counter enabled, and basically, I can grow these, shrink them, as you can see, as well as just move them around and place them on the screen wherever I want them. Maybe I want my FPS counter to be right in the middle. I don't know. Um, there's also very useful alignment options as you can see and you can just move these around here um, that is with literally everything that you know has the option to be displayed on your screen you can move them around in this area here you can also tune module snapping which will allow them to snap together or not and same with these snap lines which as you can see I can align this perfectly to the middle or not anymore Anyways, basically, that is how that works. If we go back into the module settings and don't hover above anything in the with the client mods, well, then we'll actually get the global settings where we can find, as you can see, the open client key, which I have currently set to F, but that you can really set to anything. And what that allows you to do is to press on F to also actually open up this client if you don't want to use FNJ or the insert key all the time. Anyways, then you we'll just go back into module settings and take a closer look at some more of the global settings. Um, so here we also have the option to edit the Minecraft font. As you can see, we can use that or not. These are all just general settings that will apply to everything and don't ne and aren't necessarily utilities that will apply in game. Anyways, you can actually also click on escape over here and click on this client settings button, which is actually also going to once again open up this menu and where you will once again be able to find the global settings or hover above anything else and then change it. So now there are also some actual commands that you can use. So you can type in .help, as you can see I just did that, and that'll give you a list of all the commands. So let's say I want to use .say. Well, I can see over here, and I can also immediately check the usage. So .say, and then type in a message. Or .execute, and then you need to type in a command, right? Um, for example, for set color, you need to do .setColor, then type in the ID, and then the hex color code, and then exactly what that's going to do, right? So this will also actually display the usage of these commands. Now, they might, these might be helpful, might be useful. And I do definitely recommend using these because they're, I, I also think that they are, they definitely are really useful. Anyways, um, wow, this, this mushroom island is 
gigantic. Um, anyways, once again, opening up back in here, that is basically it. Um, there's not much more to this. There is a search bar down here, and um, most of it is just pretty self-explanatory. As you see, I can click on things, and then I can see exactly what it's going to do. So in this case, it is going to display the real world, world time. What does hurt color do? It changes what color entities will be when hurt. Right, so that is all pretty self-explanatory. If you do have any questions, then do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.